Hey y'all, so today I set myself the task of creating an electric kind of growth of points and I need to stop saying the word kinda. Um, so let me show you where I got. So this is, I'll show you this one at the end. So let me start off by showing you the crazy erratic and what I have going on here. Now I'll click apply just to switch this and here we go. Now it's completely random every time I click refresh but it's cool I like to get the different shapes going now this grows so if I was to go back to the beginning you just refresh click play you can see my erratic behavior here zoom out a bit and what I normally do is instead of watching it for ages I just set it to a frame like frame 2000 that's 200 there we go and then I'll wait a couple of seconds and it gets really cool shape and I'm like oh it's a bit it's not even spread enough, so I can just refresh, apply my script again, bam, and I get nice ones every time. Now if I change my point count up, so this is my small closed erratic kind of motion. I'll crank that up, it'll, it'll look crazy, very busy as well. Here we go, now it's not much use here, but I guess if you left this system running for ages it would spread out really nicely, but then you can really just get away with that by having a lower point count to begin with. So this is the amount of drivers I've got starting off. Okay, so now I'm thinking, oh, they're, they're a bit too spaghetti junction. Let's I tame them a bit. So if I change my variables and then rerun it, that's better. So I get a more electrifying look. Let's see if I can generate one that's a bit more uniform and not having these guys here going for a party. Okay, that'll do. So yeah, this was my goal, to create something where the points all start growing and then they just go on whichever random direction they want. And there's a delay, and every time they hit the delay refresh, they just switch direction. And I get some really funky patterns. If I, if I show you from the growth. It's really cool. I like how they're kind of alive. They're not, but I wish they were. <laughs> so now, if I, what do I want to do next? Good old cup of tea to keep me going. And let me just set it to 3000 and then see the funky motions we've got here. It's kind of interesting that you get a few, one or two out of the entire group that go off and go crazy. I mean, even if I was to set this to a really high number, like a thousand points, there's always one or two that just end up going off, you know, starting their own adventure. There's two reasons I like this. The first one is I can just generate some random scrap. And the second one is I can have it grow if I want it. But my favorite of all, which I didn't actually mean to do this, is the energy beam looking appearance like this. Now you can look at it two ways. You can look at it downwards and it's, it's like a comet shooting down and you've got the crazy trails but more of an electric energy comet because these are a bit you know they're not straight like they would be in space or you've got the other way where someone's doing an attack lightning attack maybe the one out of star wars uh, if i can crank this up a bit don't want to crank it up too high because then it just looks like a jumble bang you know you can really see the power behind that and if you just want to just watch it grow, you can just click play and it goes back to the beginning. <laughs> because my timeline's limited. So I'll just bring that up again for you. Cool. Then I click play from here. You can see all my little driver points are still going. And they will go for a long, long time. It's interesting to watch. But of course, my favorite one is the one right in the middle. And last but not least, also one of the things I was trying to do with this, it didn't go very well, but the shapes, they were starting to form. If I set this to 100, click play, it's really pretty. I was trying to create a glass kind of fracture here, where it all starts from the beginning, they all spike out, but then as occasionally some of them like crank and change direction at such a sharp angle, you can see here that 
it looks like it could be a glass fracture going on. If I left it playing for too long, it might go a bit too crazy. But if I just refresh this to see what different combinations we get. Yeah, you could do something nice with it. Cool, so that's that for that video. Uh, like erratic points, glass structures, there's quite a few things you can do with this. And, uh, yep, I hope you thought it was as cool as I did. Sweet.